you signing to Sony or Universal or Afrotainment as an artist, they're going to give you a royalty rate of between 10% and 15%. That obviously grows with maybe at when you sell 10,000 units, it's 10%. When you sell 15, it's 12%, you know? When you sell 30,000, it's 14, 15%. So basically, it grows like that. So when you are signing to a, then if it's an artist agreement, then guess you are a Donald. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you're focusing on is singing, doing music. They're going to pay for the production of your, of your album. They're going to market your album. Um, they're going to do videos for you. They're going to take the song and put it on radio. They're going to do all those things. So when they sell an album with 100 rand, they're going to give you either 10% of that or 12% of that or 15% of that according to your contract. So when they sell with 100 rand, no puma no 12 rand. The CD at music, I guess, let's say the CD at music, let's say it's 100 rent. It's 100 rent, um, but when the label, when Universal sells the music at, when Universal sells the CD to Musica, they're going to sell it for 50 rent. Yeah? So, if 50 times, so it gold is 15,000 copies, ne? And I'm just taking it back. Well, it's, things are complicated now because obviously it's streaming and downloads and whatever, but just making a straightforward calculation. Um, it's CD is 50 rand uh, times 15,000. So, you are celebrating that you've sold gold. So that is 750,000. Ne? So if you are on a 12%, 12%, 90,000. Ne? That's your check. From 750,000. Ne? Okay, let's say you're affrotainment, ne? Let's say we're affrotainment. If you are affrotainment, you, what you're doing is you, you've, you've got a distribution deal. So you just say, no, 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 no. I just want a distribution deal. I want someone that's going to uh, uh, take my CD and put it in the shelves. Yeah? So that person is going to take 15%. You take 75%. Yeah? So um, if it was 750, 750, okay, it's times 0 0.85. Yeah. Yeah? So, but now, affrotainment, when they receive this money, even before they even get it from the distributor, well, depends um, how much is, is, is a CD. Maybe you can say printing a CD, you can say maybe it's 15 rand. Ne? So, if you sold 15,000 copies, you will take 15 times uh, uh, 15 rent times 15,000 copies, you'll get that. That means you start minusing from this money because that's the money spent. And you remember that I was telling you earlier about, you know, you sign a contract, it's 15% uh, it's and you like, but you forget the expenses. But from after minusing that, then affrotainment also needs to take care of the video, needs to take care of uh, uh, dressing you for photo shoots and whatever, 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 whatever. And then they will also 
if you are an artist sign to them, you will also calculate Ngoba, you sign with them. You still get your 90,000, but if you are Tira or you are Afro Tenmin running the label, that's the money that you're going to get as a distributor. And if you are Lulu, you are running your own company, you are singing, and you have your own company as Lulu Entertainment, that just distributes, that's the money that you're going to get coming to you. So you understand. Yeah. And also, Afro Tenmin can be able to say, in fact, and this is the deal structure that obviously a company like Kalawa had. You know? Kalawa works with Universal. So Kalawa also, hey, you know, we need someone that you're going to work with, you know, that's going to do a lot of things for us because we want to focus more on other things, making music and whatever. So Kalawa can also go to Universal and sign, license the albums that they do to them. And probably they can get like a 25% or a 30%, depending on the deal structure. Which, you, if you are signed to Kalawa, that means Kalawa will have their cut between 25% and 15%. If you are on 15% or 12%, get their cut after Universal have paid them, then they pay you. And those deals, sometimes they're nice, because when, when, when Universal reports, they can be able to report to you but even if you get money from Kalawa, but they report to you that your 10%, by the way, that we've given to those guys, is this money. So there's basically those deals. So all you can do a JV. There's a JV deal. There's a licensing deal. When you take the album, you go and license it. They can give you at a rate of 25%. That means you take 25%. They take the 75 Then they do the marketing and everything. You just go and present the album to them. But if you are an artist, that means they're going to sign you, and then they give you that deal between 10 and 15%. We're understanding each other. JV, for example, the deal that we did with uh, Devon's Finest. It was a JV deal, you know, when we uh, were in the industry. I, JV, JV, uh, we cutting, cutting equal, cutting equal. <laughs> you know, we also not Devon's finest, hey. Big Dog Productions, I, not we've got the market. So we all have to contribute, and all, you know, depends what you contribute, though. You know? If this guy says, no, I'm the one who marketed, I'm the one who shot the video, I'm the one who does that, so he's going to take his money first. So we all need to you know, contributes, and then whatever that comes out will cut 50-50 at the end. So it depends. You can ever do a JV, or you can do a licensing deal, or you can do an artist deal. It's up to you. But sometimes you have to make your choices wisely. Um, I spoke about the, the, the revenue lines, which is physical sales. I was making an example now. Um, uh, we've got digital download platforms like iTunes, Google Play, Amazon. We've got digital streaming platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, Google. Um, we've got live performances. If you sign with uh, uh, another management company, basically they take the 20%. If you get a booking for 10,000 rent, they're going to take 2,000. If the deal is 20%, they're going to take that 20% from that 10,000 and pay you after that. Yeah? Um, brand endorsement as well, if a company, your management company gets you a deal with um, MTN, you know, they, will get, they, will, they will take their card to get your money. Um, synchronization, merchandise, uh, social media. Social media is the one. You need to know how to use your social media. Because right now, social media is, is the best way to communicate. You know? So if you dress smart, you get to be dressed by Abu Replay, Abu Banba. You know? They give you clothes. Maybe they will sign a deal that, you know what, Tira, can you give us four or five posts a month? And we're going to give you clothes to the worth of 25000 uh, because they know that when you post, p 
people are going to say, hey, I want that t-shirt, I want that t-shirt, the theater is worried, guys. So that's advertisement for them. So they need that person with that kind of brand yeah, to also push their sales. So social media is very important. You need to build your social media. You need to present yourself. And you need to actually invest. You, in, in, you invest because when you hire a photographer, when you hire a videographer, when you hire those people, it's you investing so that they can give you good quality pictures, good quality videos that are going to say, oh, wow. I ah, know I'm going to stay on this channel. I'm going to follow this guy because, you know, I always have good things to watch, you know. And when you do that, then, you know, the, the brands can be able to support you. Um, ah, that's the end of my presentation. Basically. A Kenan is out in stores, people. <laughs> and like Moses, a whole bunch of Israeli. To come party with me. Yeah. So my last word is, guys, discipline. You know, Robi Malinga once uh, told me a story. Um, rest in peace. He said, uh, this other time, these artists, they were in PE. You know? This artist, they were in PE and they were, they were supposed to perform, and this artist just said, I, guys, 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 you know, I need to go to Joe Beck because I need to go to a toilet. I won't say the artist's name, but the artist has also passed on now. May his soul rest in peace. It's just that when you are happening, there's just something that just happens. <laughs> it will happen to you one day. When you are happening and rocking, there's just one thing that happens. They just, that you just tell yourself that, Aike, it's going to be like this forever. Which never happens which never happens. So when you have something good going on, that's where you should even be more disciplined and put more focus and spend your money wisely, invest. And I'd like to thank Old Mutual for this opportunity because we need such seminars to educate people that are getting into the industry so that they can know how to invest their money, they can know how to spend their money, they can know how to, you know, generations and generations to come, they still need to eat of this beautiful music that you're going to be doing. So look after yourself. Thank you.